A polynomial function has zeros at plus or minus 3 and at 4 plus or minus root 2. So there's actually four roots here altogether. Two here and two more here. And we're asked to find the equation for this family of polynomials. And so the equation will look like this. Now I'm going to use k for my stretch factor here, just to sort of reinforce that it doesn't always have to be a. So it'll be y equals k. Now two of the zeros are 3 and negative 3, so x minus 3 and x minus negative 3, which is x plus 3. And then x minus each of these two roots, 4 plus root 2, so x minus 4 plus root 2. And x minus 4 minus root 2 is the other one. So there's the four factors multiplied for the four different zeros. Now we're going to expand this all out to get a general equation for this family of polynomials. And so first I'm going to multiply the x minus 3 by the x plus 3. So uh, this is uh, x times x is x squared, negative 3 and 3 multiplied to negative 9. And the x terms, the linear terms, add to 0 because that would be negative 3x and that would be positive 3x and that, that all adds to 0. Now we'll put a bracket here. Now this bracket is uh, just uh, the, the next bracket for the next factor, so it actually kind of replaces the square one here because we're going to multiply this all out so we don't have to uh, write a square bracket anymore. So x times x would be x squared. So I've multiplied this x by the x. Now I'll multiply the x by the 4 minus root 2. And if you multiply that, you actually get... Now I'm actually multiplying now an x by a negative 4 minus root 2. And that's in brackets. So it's kind of like we've got this x multiplied in here and that we actually have negative x times the 4 minus root 2. So when you multiply it in, the negative x times the 4 is minus 4x. And the negative x times the uh, negative root 2 now we have a negative times a negative, so it'll be plus uh, root 2 times the x. So that's the next two terms. So I've multiplied this together, and I've multiplied this together. Now I need to multiply this together. So that's actually negative 4 plus root 2 times the x. Now we could bring that x over here and write as negative x times the 4 plus root 2. And so multiplying this in, we get negative 4x. And then multiplying this together, we get minus root 2x. So that's the new next two terms. Now the last two terms come from this product. Multiplying this together with this. The last two terms in each of those square brackets. And I'm going to do that separately. So we're multiplying. Now, notice the negative times a negative is a positive, so I can drop the two negatives out front of the brackets. So really just multiplying 4 plus root 2 and 4 minus root 2. So multiplying these together, 4 times that 4 will be 16. And then 4 times the negative root 2 will be minus 4 root 2. And then the root 2 times this 4 would be plus... 4 root 2. And then root 2 times negative root 2 is minus 2. It's minus the root of 4, which is 2. Now, notice that these are opposite, so they add to 0. So we actually just have 16 minus 2, which of course is 14. So that's the last term here, plus 14. Now, notice that the root 2x and negative root 2x add to 0. So in the long bracket here at the end, we actually just have x squared and this would be minus 8x, and then plus the 14. So now we need to multiply this out, and we'll have our general equation. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times the negative 8x is minus 8x cubed. And x squared times the 14 is plus 14x squared. Negative 9 times x squared is minus 9x squared. Negative 9 times negative 8x is plus 72x, and negative 9 times 14 is minus 126. A couple like terms, we can add together the 14x squared and minus 9x squared. Add to, of course, 5x squared in the middle here. And so that's the general equation for this, this quartic family of polynomials. Now in B, we're asked to find the equation for the polynomial that passed through the point 220. So we're going to substitute 20 in place of y here. 
and the 2 in place of x, of course, everywhere we have an x, all four spots here. And so we need to simplify what's in the big long brackets here. 2 to the 4th is 16. 2 cubed is 8, and 8 times 8 is 64. There's 1 minus here, so it's minus 64. 2 squared is 4 times 5 is 20. 72 times 2 is 144, and minus 126 in the end. So adding and subtracting all those five numbers in that round bracket, we'll get negative 10. So it's negative 10k equals 20, so k is negative 2. So now we can substitute negative 2 in here, and the equation for this specific uh, member of this family that goes to the point 220 would be y equals negative 2, and then x to the fourth minus 8x cubed plus 5x squared plus 72x minus 126. Now that's, the, that's an equation. If you want to expand the negative 2, you, and you can, and the equation would look like that. In example number four, we're asked to find the equation for the polynomial shown in the graph to the right. And uh, notice that there's a zero here at negative three, in fact, a double zero. Uh, if you look really closely, it looks like it passed through in two different points. It's supposed to just intersect at one point there. Pass through at zero as well and also at one. So the zeros are negative three. There's a double root there, also at zero and one. So there's actually four roots. Two of them are negative three, but still a quartic polynomial. So the general equation for any member of this family would be y equals a x. x comes from the fact there's a zero root. Uh, x plus 3 because it's x minus negative 3 squared because it's a double root. Just touches the graph there, the axis there. And 1 is a zero as well, so x minus 1 is uh, the other factor. Now this is a specific point on that graph, which is the point negative 2, 12. And so highlighting this specific point, we can substitute 12 and for y and negative 2 for x and then solve for a. So making those substitutions in this bracket, uh, we have negative 2 plus 3, which of course is 1, and 1 squared is 1. Uh, negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Multiplying negative 3, 1, and negative 2, that's 6. So we get 12 equals 6a. And so a would be 2. So now substituting 2 in place of a here, this is the equation for that specific quartic shown. And that's the end of the lesson.